section, we're going to learn about one other tool, and that's basically how to keep yourself informed. So the text box. Um, right now I have it set up as the Twitter uh, logo, but if you go one, two, three, four, five indicators down and you click on this um, little arrow, you'll notice the text box and I have mine favorited, right? This is a fantastic way to give yourself a little note on any chart. Blah, 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 right? Uh, whatever color you want, visibility, that's completely irrelevant for the text box. Um, but for example, if you want it boldened or larger, or if you do want a background on it so that it pops for you, um, I think this is going to be a fantastic way for you to keep yourself organized with your specific notes. Um, so for example, if we, you know, we see a downtrend happening and we have a specific entry in mind, uh, and a timer goes off, for example, right? So you already set your alert, you right click and put add alert, and you've already done that, right? Create. And once it crosses your alert and you're, you check again, your text box notifies you, oh, that's what I was thinking on that day. Uh, oh, it doesn't seem to have played out, or yes, it has, right? It's, it's just a very good way of keeping track of where you are at in your particular uh, trading scenario. Right? And just as simply, you just click on it and delete it with your delete key or right click. Uh, you know, if I all do it up again, I'll just put the box just so you see that. And I can just right click on the box and go remove. Off it goes. Okay. Uh, the other tools that we have in here in the text area, which is called the annotation tools, uh, we can use a signpost. You know, we can pop that up for ourselves as well. Similar idea, you know, going up, for example. Boom. And then we're, we're going to have our post. As you can see, it kind of anchors itself to the specific candles, right? So here we are, you know, there's the signpost on that uh, wick on that red candle, you know, going up. Obviously, that's not the case. It's just as an example as to what you can use with this tool. Um, you know, or, for example, if you want to put, you know, just double click on it to get the text window to open back up. And you can write, uh, possible continuation of trend. Oops, spelt that wrong. Trend. Enter. You know, and then uh, pop it on there. And then if you notice, you come back to it an hour or two later because we're on the hour time frame. It's like, oh yeah, okay. So that sign was right. You know, I'll set up another one later on. It'll kind of give me an idea of where I could have done a potential entrance. Right. So continuation of trend. Enter potential entry okay right and then you know you could see if you're working out a strategy if that would have been correct if it's not correct then just delete it for yourself and put you know it was an incorrect message a great way to keep track of uh, past notes as well rather than having text box everywhere you can put it on that specific candle and you know show exactly what you were thinking at which time Right. So as you can see, if I stretch this up or I put it on the bottom, same sort of thing. It'll glue itself to that particular candle that you're trying to identify. All right. So one more uh, one more annotation tool that you have a uh, price note. You know, as soon as you click on that. You know, it anchors itself on that particular price that you clicked on. Very straightforward. You know, you can even do. Uh, if that's what you wanted to know, you, you can see right now as I'm moving it, if I hold down control, it will anchor itself uh, to the candles just like the signpost did, right? And if I let go of control, I kind of have free reign uh, to move this dot around wherever I want. So again, moving it around, I'm simply holding down the mouse, uh, left mouse button down, and all I do and now is I press control on my keyboard, or if you're on a Mac, it's the command key. Hold it down, and as you can see, what's going on? It anchors itself to that particular candle and gives you the price of that specific candle that you want information on, right? And that that's very much it. Like, it's a very simple, very simple annotation tool, right? So we'll delete that one off. And just for fun, let's go to one more. Let's go on the arrows, right? Click on an arrow wherever you like, green arrow. I'm like, okay. So boom, let's say we click on there, we're expecting it to go up, that was the bottom, that's our sign. Oh, it hasn't gone up, but you know, it made a small little inclining right there. 
Um, great. Instead of going to this and clicking on it one more time for another arrow, uh, you can simply click. Uh, you can highlight that arrow that you want, but before clicking on it, press down Control again, and then click left click on that particular uh, indicator, and then just drag your mouse. As you can see, I just copied that arrow without actually creating one or right clicking or anything. Right. So again, hold Control, left click on that arrow, and move it over. Now, as you can see, I've highlighted two, so I'm moving two of them over. If you just want to highlight one, make sure you click on the one first before you uh, hold down Control and copy it over. Otherwise, every time you press Control, as you can see now, all I'm doing is adding to those arrows. So I'm just going to bin everything. All right. So just a few uh, tools you can use in a nutshell. The arrows, obviously, uh, it's all of them. They do the same thing. Uh, notes, anchored note, uh, tweet, tweet. You can actually put it on your Twitter account to post that idea, or you know, if you have a trade idea, insert a link to the idea. You know, you can play around with that. But those are some very basic annotation tools that you can add to your um, to your hot bar right here, just so you have some future information based on, or sorry, some past information based on what you've predicted, and to see how everything played out, and especially if you're keeping an eye on multiple pairs, uh, to get that information back for you without trying to guess what you were thinking with just the lines you drew up. All right, hope that helps. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.